Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. The fairest four card Monty you will ever lose. Yeah. Big title, such a little trick, but very nice one. And then the scene of performance now. To do it, you need three aces. Avoid the ace of spades because it's got that big pip, it's harder to hide. So either clubs, hearts or diamonds, and you need one blank card. And that's your setup. You want the blank on the bottom. These three can go in any order that you want to. They can. Honestly, they can. Um, you start off saying you're going to do uh, the fairest four card Monty you're ever going to lose at. Or leave the you're going to lose out there because they, they'll run a mile. Just show you've got four cards. Close up. And the one card to really look out for, turn the top card, is the Ace of Clubs, which we will leave there. Now, I'll show you the handle that I've done, and I'll give you some other ideas of what you can do here. I went, showing the bottom card, turn my hand down, just as it gets past there, just so they don't see, think, a bit of the card underneath. So you want that out of sight. All you have to remember is whatever hand is holding the packet, takes the top card so you show you pull with your thumb pulling that in you take the packet away in that hand and show it again get it down and whenever hand is holding it takes the top card so you pull that card into your hand as you take the bottom card to show the blank again now the ease of doing it the way i done it is because you now need to get that into second place or in the middle doing it this way you can just bring it down plop it on top of the bottom card push it underneath the top card and pick all three up and you've got it in the middle. Yeah. Other ways you can show you've got three card blank cards is do a frustration count. Sliding off the top card, showing the bottom card, sliding off the top card, showing the bottom card and putting that on top. But then you've got to get a card onto the top of it. Right. Another way you can do it, and this is a good one to use in the... Uh, bit later on as well is hold them facing up bring your thumb over so that your thumb is covering all that bottom corner right and you'll pull with your thumb on the top card and push with your thumb on the next card to show three blank cards your thumb is hiding them two indices just don't go too far you can go a, a wide a big way i mean look how much cards actually shown me yeah just make sure you don't show that any of the pip. That's another way you can show you've got three blank cards and it's very convincing. Turn it over. Right, so we've got the ace there. You want to get that card, as I say, into the second to the top. Whatever one of them three methods you used. You do a pinky pull down. So you do a double whip and say, we'll take a blank card and we'll put it on the table. We'll put the ace of clubs and bury it in the middle of the blank cards. You can't show the bottom card of the blank cards. Turn it back over. Where's the ace of clubs? They're going to say it's on the table. They're going to say it's in the middle. Sorry. You'll turn the card on the table, which is the ace of clubs. Then you've got any of them three choices again. Either, or you could even do a rumba count, I suppose. There's... No, that's not how you do the rumba count. You sh show that, you turn it, you flip that, you show that, you turn it, you flip that, and you do that, and then you have to get that back into second to the top. Either way you do it, you show the three blanks are there. Let's do it again. Pinky pull down, double lift, turn it back over, blank card down. Out jog the, the ace. Put the other card on and spread them to the left and get your hand over mainly this corner here because that's where them two are. Get your hand over there and again, as long as you keep that card far down, you can do a big spread to show that the ace is actually going in the middle of two blank cards. Close it up. Where's the ace? Here, they'll say in the middle. You'll turn the card on the table. Again, any one of them three moves 
four moves even with the rumba count put that one now onto the top put it onto the top you put the ace of clubs facing down on the top and say we'll try something a bit different i've got the ace of clubs and just doing i do an elmsley count because you need to get that blank card to the top after putting that ace on the top or you could just pick that ace up and put it on the bottom but then the next bit looks a bit funny I just done an elderly count. Where am I up to? One, two, three, and four. I hope that was right. No. I, I forgot where I was up to on the elderly count. I'm sorry. You do an elderly count, which puts it third to the bottom, third to the top. And then you split the cards and do that. Bring the blank to the top. Pinky pulls out. Turn them all over. I'll get the ace of clubs and put the ace of clubs on the table and put these three blanks down here which one's the ace of clubs now or you could say which one's the blank yeah that's a different way of going about it i said which one's the the, the ace they say that one no it's not you reveal them three if you want to say find a blank well psychologically they're going to pick one of these that's up there on its own that's either a blank or a the ace here you've got three choices only two of these can be blanks and one of them's got to be only one of them can be an ace the other two have got to be blank so if i pick one of these i've got more chance of getting it right so I'll find a blank card and we'll go for that one well unfortunately you found the ace but it wouldn't really matter if you picked that one because that's an ace and so is that one Another good idea at the start is make sure all your pips are orientated the right way. Just in case somebody gets onto it through the performance. This is inverted. Whatever. And the blank card you should have picked was actually up there. Or whatever you'd like to say. But basically, that is it. The first four card Monty you will never win. Probably. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And you did. Uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you.